Hello, in this video we're going to look at finding the maximum output from a short run production function. So how to find the maximum short run output for the firm. First we're going to derive the marginal product of labor equation by taking the derivative of the production function. We're going to set that equation, the marginal product of labor equation, equal to zero and then solve for L which represents units of labor. We're going to take the value of L that we found in step two and we're going to plug that back into the production function to see how much output we can get from that value of L. And that will be our maximum level of output. The main takeaway here is output is maximized when marginal product is zero. That is when you hire the last worker and output doesn't increase, you are at a maximum. So example one, here we have a production function for a firm. Q is the units of output. L represents units of labor. So step one, get the marginal product of labor. Taking the derivative of this equation, the short run production function, we get 10 minus 0.5L. So the derivative of 10L is just uh, 10. And the derivative, derivative of 0.25L squared is just 0.5L. Bringing the two down in front, two times 0.25 gives us 0.5 and then uh, we subtract one from the exponent here and we're just left with L. Next we're going to set this equation equal to zero. So 10 minus 0.5L, setting that equal to zero, solving for L, moving 0.5L to the other side by adding one half L to both sides, dividing through by 0.5, 10 divided by 0.5 equals 20. So at 20 units of output, at, I'm sorry, at 20 units of labor, output is maximized. So when L equals 20, output should be maximized. What value is that output? Take this L equals 20, plug it into the production function on top here. Gives us 10 times 20 minus 0.25 times 20 squared. And this will just simplify to 100. Example 2. Here we have another production function. Uh, slightly more complicated perhaps, but the steps are still the same. Let's get the marginal product of labor, taking the derivative of the production function with respect to labor. 2 times 90 is 180, and we're just going to be left with 180L, 180L. Bringing the 3 down in front here for the derivative, we're going to get 3L, and then 3 minus 1 in the exponent leaves us with L squared. Setting that marginal product equation equal to 0, uh, here we have a quadratic, so we could use a quadratic formula, or this might be easy enough to factor out, so that's what I did. On the left-hand side, I factored out a 3L term, so 3L times 60 gets us back to 180L, and then 3L minus 1L gets us back to minus 3L squared, so this is factored correctly. Now we just need to find the values of L to have this, uh, this left-hand side equal zero. So if L equals zero, okay, zero times 60 is just zero. And finally, if L equals 60, in parentheses, we have 60 minus 60 or zero, so uh, 3L times zero is just zero. So our, our so-called critical values here are L equals zero, L equals 60. Um, you'll note at L equals zero, Output will be also zero, just plugging zero into the production function, or just plugging L equals zero into the production function here. Uh, we get output of zero. So when L equals zero, output is in fact um, mi um, minimized. So if we plug L equals 60 into the production function, we must have our maximum value for output. And doing that, we find that output equals 108,000 units. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.